Unfortunately, the memory card died on me a second time. But I'm basically just doing a pen and wash of this little figure I've drawn in on the left colouring in the coat with a pinkish sort of colour I've already gone through and done the hands and the hat just by adding in some yellows and purples so really at this point just trying to get in some of the colours of these clothes I'm really picking some gaudy looking colours so trying to keep within the lines as well and maintain a kind of flat looking wash but I will actually add in some colours just drop them in here as well so it doesn't look so red so we'll add in some purple bits just under the areas where it might be some shadows like that and just let it mix together Forgotten to do this side here, so I'll do that now. Okay, again, just add in a little bit of that purple or darker tones underneath in some areas here. Where you might expect to see a shadow. Okay. I'm going to get through the clothing underneath and the pants. And I think what I'll do is I'll mix up a pretty dark color, a bit of ultramarine blue, and some sepia. And I'll give this a try first here. Yeah. And I'll just get this all in first, starting with the pants. Like that. Going all the way down to the shoes. Okay, and Gonna need some more moving up here, cutting around pink areas of the jacket. Like that. And what I'm going to do is get in this bag and I'm thinking, thinking I might get it a lighter color in there, maybe grab some of the orange. Actually, let me have a think. 
let's get the bag in actually in a darker color so I'll mix up some blue just use a bit of the color that's left over in the palette as well like that cut around the hands another thing I want to just do as well is put some warmer colors on top and blend it in object isn't blue so the bag just changes as you go down cut around the hands Good. okay and I'm gonna get the bag strap in as well just this same dark color that we've used on the palette like this and while that's drying we'll go and do the dog and again I'm just going to pick up a darker sort of color get him in Oof. little bit of red in the ears like that and I'll just go around the edges in a darker color okay Pull that red in oops too much mop that up and let's get in the rest just leave a strip of white to the center okay. The leash get in actually with the bit of burnt sienna. Do this bit first. Do this bit here. Okay. Great. Bit of red for the tongue and mouth, and you know it's up to you whether you want to put a shadow in underneath or not. I think I'll leave it for now. I'll decide what to do later if I end up adding some in. But what I'll do is just in the for the hair of the figure, mixing up a very dark color, ultramarine plus sepia quite dark, almost as dark as you can get it and I'm gonna go in and put the hair in just in a hopefully if not too many strokes using a very small flat brush I'm going to leave a little bit of white in there. Like that. 
dry that brush off slightly. Do these bits of hair. It's going to be hard, this bit near her face, actually. just leave it as that that looks fine to me and the last thing you might want to do is add in some shadows a bit of a shadow underneath the neck in a blue or a cooler color like that soften that edge there even across the face but we will do something like that just indicate the hat the shade from the hat like that and we're done so I'm gonna paint these four little portrait sketches and some of them are quite small and zoomed out. A couple that are more just the face. So I just want to do these to show you some of the different effects and I guess my thought process when I'm painting them. So with this first one here, uh, what I'm going to do first is actually get the skin tones in. So I'm going to grab a bit of this pink mix it around with some yellow swap to another one bit of uh, pink a little bit of yellow give that a try probably too much paint I need a little bit more yellow as well okay I'm going to go over nearly the entire face just quite quickly. Like that. And the neck as well. Okay, and that's all going to dry fine, and what I'll do is just soften this edge here where the neck comes down, darken underneath a little bit. Okay, and what I want to do now is I want to get in this funny looking hat. It's a very fluffy sort of hat. So what I'll do is I'm going to pre-wet this area with some water. Go slightly outside the area of the hat. And what I'm trying to do is just show you a bloom effect. Some wet on wet, basically. So I'm going to pick up. Let's have a look. A bit of this grey that I've mixed on the palette already. So I'm going to pick up whatever's left in here. Maybe a bit more blue in there. A 
and I'm just going to drop it in quite quickly like this in some areas I'll make it thicker also just want to re-wet this area underneath too and on this side that just drop in a bit of extra paint there Maybe a bit beneath here as well or something after a cover up that bit of splash a bit of paint so as you can see the colors are all blooming and shifting around and you get these interesting furry little edges here which is what I was looking for and you know you can even do things like wait for a little bit and then add some water into it as well And I'll do the exact same thing below, but firstly, I'm going to try to add in some of her hair, picking up a bit of brown on the palette, a bit of light brown. See if I can get in just a bit of the hair. Like that. And be sure to cut around the face area I'm going to just draw it onto the hat. Okay. And what I'll do is pre wet this area too. try to get this bloom effect again with the clothing and this top section of the hat it just hasn't done what I wanted it to, I'm going to try to wet the edges and encourage that to move around a little bit more. I don't know if this is going to do much, but we can just see. Now add a little bit of detail to the face and for that I'm going to pick up a smaller brush, slightly smaller brush and 
going to and I'm going to add a bit more detail, darker areas to the face. So just around the eye here, a bit of a shadow. that going to the left side of the nose soften so that it's a gradual kind of fade around the mouth and this area of the nose here there's a bit of a shadow being cast to the left very simple sort of shadow I don't want to get into too much detail here and under the chin we want to darken more to the left side so I'm going to cut this area off like that but shift most of the pigment over to the left creating a bit of a shadow to the left and I'm going to soften this edge just a tad and darken a little bit more underneath here Okay. Really just checking for any areas where it's too dark or not light enough and removing paint where I need to or adding paint where I need to. And this has formed a really nice pattern that I like. There, yeah, which I'll leave in just by adding that bit of water on the outside you can see the pigment starting to granulate outwards okay really this shadow needs to be more to the left side but uh, I'll see if I can lift out a bit of the pigment like that so I'm trying to portray the light coming in from the right hand side and casting a shadow on the left side of the face like that okay and let's see if I can get in just a few strands of hair coming across here like that. just going underneath the, the hat Maybe a bit here too and add some darker areas to the hair just a few darker strands this also helps to frame the face as well like that Okay, soften a little bit. Thinking this area under the, the jawline just is a bit too hard in some areas. I'm gonna try to soften slightly. But it's not a big deal. Really the next step I'm just going to wait for this to dry 
and then I'm going to add in the details of the face. It hasn't completely dried yet, I just want to be careful. And what I can do in the meanwhile is add some details onto the shirt, uh, mixing up a darker paint and with the outline of the, the neck area of the of this uh, coat just making some outlines and things I think you know, getting a bit of the, the detail of the coat as well like that just making it up Too like the white in the background, it's unfortunate that there's this bit of paint sticking out like that, but you can try to lift it out, and it is a sketch anyway, so I sometimes get it a bit too carried away even with my sketches. Okay. Now I'm going to start doing some detailing on the face quite quickly. Some red for the lips. Thin it out a bit. Okay, and here, here goes nothing. Just a bit of colour there. And for the eyes, just want to emphasise them more. Like that. The eyebrows as well indicate. that I'm going to soften this area of the nose there where there's a hard line okay and add in a bit of colour for the eyes I'll go with the this light brown oops went in a bit too early there I'll just have to deal with it the other one like that When you're painting this small as well, it's very difficult to get in all the little details, so... Don't go too overboard. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add in some darks for the eyelashes. Give it a quick dry first.
ducks. The areas of the mouth, the nose, and there. Okay. And I want to make those, the eyes stand out more with some brown. It's just more detailing, adding areas around the eye as well, just building up detail. But I think for a quick impressionistic painting like that, I'm just going to leave it. I'll go in and see if I can touch it up later again. I'll move on to this next one. So. With this one here, I've just got a bit of the hat and the figure underneath. I'm going to go in again and just add in the skin tones. Thin layer of red and yellow. Like that. Clothing underneath, I'm just going to grab some more blue, a little bit of blue, see if we can mix up some purple. Yep. Blend that together. Adding that in pretty loosely. Okay. And I'm going to start working on the hat now. Grabbing a bit of yellow ochre for the top, like that. Dropping a bit of red in there too, the base. And I'm going to try to get in some colours of these flowers there yellow, red, maybe a bit of blue like that and encourage it to mix in they're just impressions of flowers colorful material and underneath the hat we're going to need to make it cooler so pick up some blue and mix that in with what's already left in your palette and cut around the face More blue. Just like that. the hat
and I'm going to warm it up near the base with some red here and here of darkness under the neck. And just a bit of a shadow for the hat here. Like that. Soften this edge more. Just creating a bit of a shadow for the hat. A bit of area under the nose and lips. And for the eyes, I'm going to need to draw them in. more of an indication there you go the area underneath the neck I just want to emphasize that more And 
I'll also get in some hair. Darker colour, brownish. Maybe some shorter strands. Dry brush them in. We add a bit more detail to the clothing. Body. In a pretty dark color, ultramarine mixed with sepia. Been a bit much. Let me go in and add darkness in here. And that's why she looks so funny, there's no eyebrows on her. I'm going to move on to these larger portraits now. Probably going to continue in the future doing them this big. This is a bit annoying trying to get the details in at that size before. I'm going to go through with a wash of red and yellow. Give that a try. A bit too strong. Water that down more. A bit of yellow in there. Okay, great, and I'm going to just colour in this whole area, 
that color. Just leaving out the eyes. A bit more yellow. Okay, and actually, we'll just go over the lips as well, darken them up later. It's a bit of the neck that I've drawn in here, which I'll get into. go outside the lines of the chin it's no big deal because I'm thinking of adding in a bit of a background later. For the hair I'm just going to add in some darker colors now while the paint's still wet on top just for the mixture of paint. missed out her ear by accident. Let me get that in quickly. go. Some of the hair. Around the neck as well. Something like that. in some darker areas of the face now, bringing in some blues. A bit more red, kind of mixing in different colors, uh, maybe a bit of a gray to start off with. And I'll go and actually add some here. I'm trying to get a sharp shadow in first. Cut around the eye. it down more. Okay. And I'm also going to join this up with another shadow coming off the eye here. A 
I'm getting the eyebrow too. Okay. Look for here is just soften that a bit. And this area will soften too. Okay, there's a shadow here. off like that and joins on to this side soften and also on the chin more blue in there, it's too red and I'll soften this area where it touches the lips too Here. Okay. I think this shadow needs to be a bit bigger. Coming across like that. Some of the eye prow on this side. A bit more detail there. Just pretty light. I'm going to darken these areas of the nostrils as well. Okay. Start working on the eyes. So 
hair of the eyelid crease going in pretty light and then I'm going to just follow the contour of the eye like that same with this one The insides of the eye, I'm gonna, gonna just use a pink. So they're not actually white. Something like that. more detailing connecting the mouth on Darken these lips a little bit. Some red. Blend. Blend into the darkness and going to soften this area of the lip here and below too. There are no, no real hard lines actually. a bit of colour now to our eyes. Go with a the green. Dry off. Start lighter and you can make it darker if it's not enough. And I'm going to just outline the contour of the eye more, especially the top of it. It's not dark enough. There's also a little line beneath the eye that I'll get in. Do the other one a bit darker. Cut. So bits of the ear that you make darker and 
and cut around the head. Gonna add some darker tones now to the face and the eyes. smaller brush, sepia mixed with ultramarine. I'm going to do these eyelashes that. Some of the darks inside the eye as well, just the pupil. Try to get some of that in. This one too. Don't want to make it too obvious. And make sure you've got them roughly equal in size. more color in that one. Okay. And you can add some more detail to the hair, just some extra strands and things like that. So I'm just picking up, I'm going to use a flat brush again. Dry off, get some darker paint, dry it off on the towel. Just drag through like this, create, oops, too dark, just some variations. Especially on this side where you want to cover up a bit of this excess paint. Like that. By using this method, you know, with the flat brush and keeping it dry in some areas, you create the illusion of little strands of hair rather than having to paint them all in one by one, which is not fun at all. And that's it. It's a really basic uh, portrait slash face, and really I can keep on going and get it more and more detailed, but just to show you how to, well, my process anyway. Last little portrait. Starting off with 
some red again for the face. You can just vary the reds and the yellows and um, you can create some darker tones as well adding some browns and blues in there for other skin tones but just experiment around with different ones I'm going to go paint over the entire face cutting around the eyes again and carrying that down to the neck here okay and I'm just gonna try to get the shadow now on the left hand side try to do some of these tones while the paints still wet the basic tones leave a bit of light on the cheek Soften that a bit. Just get some of that pink of the eye in. We'll do the hair as well. I'll go a bit darker this time. This is uh, sepia. this area of the face I just want to make sure that it's drier before I go in And carry the hair down a little bit further like that smaller flat brush if I can find one Some hair coming down the forehead. Dry it off. Just gonna give her a fringe.
and a bit more texture to the top as well. Okay. Get some brown into the eyes. The eyes looks a lot bigger than the other one, which I'll fix up as we move forwards. So you can actually go in and reduce that a bit. Going out in some shadows of the face to that eyebrows. A shadow there and here under the nose going to the left and there under the chin again I'm going to soften this out a bit and here too. Soft in there. Maybe under the neck, darker. That side. Do need to differentiate that more later. Give that a quick try. You can almost call that a day. But I'll add in the eyelashes and a few darker areas. This is the area of the lips parting. I'll form that side of the lip a bit more. this line okay not to darken this these lips a bit some red the right and soften the edge it's not completely symmetrical but it will do okay area here where the cheek is let's get that in just an indication the corner of the mouth 
two. And underneath the chin, the jawline, I'm just going to define that a bit. Like that. And I'll add in the eyes now. Darken again. And some eyelashes. Got some ultramarine blue mixed with burnt sienna. Still water it down, but make sure it's quite thick. Dry it off on the brush a bit. Just go for it. It's up to you how pronounced you want to make them as well. It's all little things you can do to just add more detail. You can keep on going, layering and layering. You know, I'd like to also add a bit of darkness to the area underneath the eyelashes. 